Good morning, people. I guess we done started something here. Uh, I woke up this morning, ain't wanna walk and talk with nobody. I wanted to just lay in the bed, and yesterday my fingers was so cold. Uh, I was like, man, do I wanna go through this again? And, but I'm starting to to understand that change can be uh, frightening. And actually that fear, fear can pop up and you don't even recognize it. And fear keeps, uh, keeps me from doing whatever it is that that I want to do and sometimes fear because usually when I think about fear I think about like the boogeyman or my heart pounding uh anxiety well I only experienced anxiety one time and that was recent but fear like hold us up from living fear hold us up from being the, the best parts of ourselves and it stops us from going after what it is that we say we want, say we need. And so the day, uh, the third day of me walking and talking and doing this exercise thing to make sure I get healthy. And because I'm not used to it, this morning I woke up resisting. I, I tried to find so many excuses. My One of my excuses was, man, when you walked and talked, the other day it was earlier, so you done missed your window. You, you, the day is the only day that everything is gonna be open and you need to be getting to the embassy of Ghana so you ain't got time to be walking. You can walk tomorrow. So change in fear. Or is it commitment? It might be commitment. Because some of us be uh, panic and commitments. I know I do. Uh, but I realized that more importantly to me trying to get to this embassy more importantly than me trying to get uh, to pick up this mail, more importantly than me trying to uh, ship these books and shirts that I have to send out, more importantly than all of that is the whole reason that I started walking is, is my health. Hey CJ, more importantly is my health. And so if I can't, I've already, apparently I've already neglected, apparently I've already neglected my health because if I, if I had been on top of my health, then I wouldn't be having, uh, experiencing high blood pressure, right? Experiencing cholesterol, potential issues. So more important than all the things that I thought or was saying that I have to do today because the day is you at my event or we communicating through social media and this removes all the the entry fees this removes all of the barriers of us just being able to kick it and so i got my little tail up and me and gangster are out here Walking, getting our walk on. So, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you 
for joining me. And I guess because that's what I started off, I guess that's what we talk about. So, change. And I'm one of them, these people I'm learning that hates change. And the reason that I hate change, uh, because it appeared to be so big and so evil in my mind that it's like I'm starting over. And if you always starting over, changing the mats in your bathroom that you've been always wanting to do because it'll make you happier or going after that goal that you have so change for me can be it can cause uh fear and it can but more importantly it can limit me as well as you on accomplishing the things that's gonna make our life a whole lot better. So, tell me what change, do you have any issues with change? I would, would love to hear it. And commitment. So I've been one of those dudes that I get, that I, I'll get in, say let's say, use a relationship. Uh, I'm, I'm told that dudes suffer from this a lot. Hey, Sean, that uh, we get we get in we get in a position, maybe something like a relationship, and we in this relationship and we got each other. We believe that it's love, and we believe uh, what we've done has been enough to make the relationship work. But we become comfortable. And we start focusing on or making sure the the other person is completely happy. So being comfortable and not willing to become uncomfortable to making sure that we do the things that we need to do, things don't get done. Hey Jess. So, comfort, comfort, change uh, is frightening for me. Change always has meant, in my mind, that starting over. And again, if, if I'm always starting over, how in the hell am I progressing? But change in reality, despite my limited thinking, despite my own fears or insecurities about change hey david that change also brings newness change also brings progression and maybe my fear of starting over could just be blocking me from reaching newer heights and so i just try to look at change hey marcus I try to look at change in a totally different capacity than uh, my mind tells me because my mind makes me shrink, it makes me, it makes me cringe, and it makes me like, man, I don't want to do that, man. I want to keep things the way that they are. So in 2019, I'm always looking, well, my plan is to always look at every emotion that I have because I got to make sure my emotions fit into my reality. And the, and the same, and the thing, the weird thing about emotions is that, you know, I read that emotions only last like 90 seconds. And that includes anger. Hey, Myra, what's up, love? Either you are progressing or regressing. 
You can never stay the same. Change is scary, but the results are amazing. Hey, love, I agree. And your change, this woman got up and moved into another country. So we talking about change and courage and progression. Myra, the helper, is definitely living proof that you cannot allow the fear to change keep you from progressing so this woman that moved all the way to another country I think I've thought about stuff like that maybe one second and that fear I make all the excuses in the world like one of my goals has was to move uh, to Los Angeles but I have put up so many barriers on why that is impossible even though one of the main barriers is justify because I got a little man, I got a son, that I have to make sure that I'm visible and present, and I can't make a move like that until I'm, if I'm, I'm capable of moving everybody. David said, without change, a caterpillar will never become a beautiful butterfly. There's beauty in change. Hey, Chi-Town. Chi-Town. So, change. So how do y'all, so when, like when you know that you have to change something, do fear, am I the only one that, that fear pops up in your mind and keeps you from moving? Because I've realized that has, and sometimes that fear is not even noticeable. Because usually again, when I think about fear, I think about like the boogeyman, that thing in the closet, that if it doesn't go right, then where you would be, it'll be another mistake. And even though now I uh, I recognize to uh, to not just act off emotions and, and just not be reactive and learn how to be like pause, be still for a second and make sure that whatever I'm feeling is fitting in to my reality. Because I'm one of those people, like I feel sometimes like I'm always having to catch up, right? So I'm not, for example, I'm not a grant writer. Uh, and a lot of times I get opportunities presented to me that require me, hey Chris, what's happening? To write a grant. And I think that fear becomes from, because now a creative writer, I got six books. So creative, right, I have no problem, but I also know that uh, that fear may come from just feeling like I got to fit in and fit into like a certain framework. But when I'm writing for myself, I have the freedom to push all boundaries that exist. But when you write and asking people for some of their money, you have to uh, meet their requirements because they're going to have requirements. And so I think that is part of what makes me uncomfortable with like technical writing. But I'm always writing. I'm always sitting with uh, like Sharon Coca. And Sharon, congratulations on your change, Sharon. Sharon just opened a health HIV uh, business and she's starting off like killing it. She's helping people live longer, working with people on prevention, doing a whole lot of amazing things. Hey, Tanya, Tanya has those candles. So, change. Everybody is living change. But just, just, just look at yourself and see like what is your what is your ultimate goal or what is that thing that you want more than anything else but you haven't made a move on pursuing that thing why why haven't you why haven't you made that thing happen why haven't you sat down to start writing that book if you don't like your job why haven't you started looking for the job that you that you really want so you could have been, or you could be experiencing what I experienced on the struggle 
of change, right? I'm not gonna quit this job, and oh, I'm not, I'm not gonna leave this job because then I gotta start over. I don't know Microsoft this. I don't know how to do video conferencing. So, all of the things that will limit us or we believe prevent us from successfully making that change, we can learn it. Most of the stuff that I do today, I had no formal training of it. And I ain't suggesting that you just go out here willy-nilly, but I had no formal training of doing any of the things that I've done. And I've made mistakes along the way, but it was stuff that I wanted that fear wouldn't allow me to sit in and keep me from doing it. But fear steals props up. You're welcome, Sean. Hey, Tanya. Y yes, goals are the key. What do you mean by the goals are the key? Hey, Angela. How you doing, Angela? So, so talk about, tell me about ch uh, change. If it causes you uh, to not move forward. Oh, like, what, what gets in your way from you going after what it is that you want? Because what I'm learning is that thousands of people didn't wake up this morning and they died with unfulfilled dreams, things that they wanted to do all of their life, but they didn't just have the courage to make it happen. And a lot of times we say resources. We don't have the, the resources to make certain things happen. And, we don't ha and it may be true that we don't have the resources today to get them but we are all interconnected and if you want something and you start moving forward towards it what I see hey Trinity what I've seen is that you will meet people that are on the same path that you want and you will meet people that's already successful in the field that you want to be in and you will meet people that's further behind than where you are but they're all interested in that same thing that you want and so access to them become a part of your resources and when you start moving in the direction of going after the things that you want the resources sort of fall in place but the, the thing that I also have experienced is that the resources that we think that we need are not necessarily the reality of the resources I mean the resources that it actually take for us to get what it is that we want and so the biggest resource that we need is ourselves it's for us to get determined enough to take a chance and I have been one of those people Lived and living it, lived it and living it, because it still pops up. Uh, that change sometimes freaks me out. But I know change is necessary in order for me to accomplish the things that I want to do. Is it Chawan? Please forgive me if I'm messing up your name. Hey, Tanya, Tanya, you said keep pushing to what you want. Don't let things hold you back. Now, and I'm not telling you, please don't think that I'm talking about like running to anything blindly and you slipping and falling and busting your head. I'm saying if you want it, figure out how to get it. There are going to be some mistakes made. It's, it's impossible for you to be running into something and not uh, <laughs> having some mistakes. But it's also crippling. If you feel you got to learn everything about everything that could possibly go wrong in this, this thing that you want, this goal that you have, that this dream that you want, you feel like I got to learn everything about it. So I'm going to go read everything that's, that's out there before. Sometimes, well, there's so much information on everything that you can never stop finding new ways or new things that you feel that you gotta learn in order for you to accomplish the goal. Sometimes you just gotta get up off your ass, uh, or not get up off your ass, roll over, get on that computer, and start it. And so one of the things that, cause a lot of stuff that I have done has been improv, right? I have an idea, 
I started. Just like this walking and talking with Lamont Curry. Hey, Wendy. Just like this walking and talking with Lamont Curry. I knew I, I was told I need to do some exercise, and I'm skinny as hell, and I'm not realizing why in the hell do I need to do some, some exercising because I'm going to mess around disappear on a walking trail. But I had to... Uh, I got out and started walking, and people have always been in my ear, people on my team, people that's connected to me saying, man, you need to do more videos. And then I just popped out the the camera and started this. So it was it was improv. It was the spirit of the moment, something that I did, and come to find out you all like it, and, I, and I'm enjoying it. But if I had was like, let me figure out everything that I need to know. Let me figure out how to position the camera because when I'm thinking of doing videos I'm thinking background lighting good quality sound and that would have prolonged it but this just came so natural I turned on the camera on the uh, Facebook live and started running my damn mouth and so going after what you want you're gonna make mistakes but if you're trying to be perfect when entering it you may never find yourself there because it's always something to learn every time you get a book. So if your goal is to build a spaceship and you get you start reading books on how to build a spaceship or you going to college or becoming an engineer and they always in every book I've ever read or self-help, self-guide or whatever has always offered other books that you should read on about how to build a spaceship, how to start a business, how to write a book. But again, the most important thing for me has always been, Mo, Mo, what's up, Mo? Uh, the most important thing for me has always been to start. Like my man Mo, change. This brother has changed. This brother wanted to, he wanted something, he wanted a career. The kind of I mean, he wanted, he always had a career, but he wanted a career that he wanted. And it took some work, but he finally had was able to make some things happen. Persistent. He wasn't afraid of change. He became determined. So Mo, we was talk we talking about change and how fear can pop up in the change. And I was telling them sometimes uh change well it used to change used to terrify me because it felt like starting over and i hate starting over i prefer to be moving forward and progressing but if you're not changing you become comfortable and stagnated and pro progression doesn't happen so i'm asking all of y'all so how do you get to where you want to be and is change impossible is there a barrier that's up now that is preventing you from moving forward and accomplishing the goal that you want to accomplish living the dream that you want to live and i'm out here walking me and gangster gangster smelling and pissing gangster welcome change he love exploring i don't know how this little dog piss so damn much this band will piss on soda tops he pisses on trees. He pisses on hills. He like, he claiming everything. So he definitely with exploring. He, he welcome and change. But he got a serious problem of claiming everything as his own. Because he, he mark his scent on everything. But anyway, so good morning. Brand new year. Is it tomorrow? So how we going to face the new year? How we going to change what we gonna conquer in the new year because the new year is exciting 2019 ain't nobody ever been there before so we're gonna be the first ones to walk into there hey murray and we're gonna walk into the new year together let's go into the new year armed and ready to conquer whatever it is that we want to conquer mo that right brother speak the truth appreciate it so we all are warriors in our own way. And I think life is all about changing, adapting, growing. Because how boring would we be if we just remain comfortable in the space that we're in? And, I ain't, and I'm not saying being comfortable is not a good thing. 
because who don't like comfort? But I think sometimes we can misinterpret what comfort is, what comfort feel like, but there is so much more out there. And I ain't talking about material things. I'm talking about spirituality, uh, becoming healthy, you know, because I hear people all the time, I need to lose weight, I need to work out, I need to, and look at me, I'm 140 pounds, this is the biggest I've ever been in my life, and I'm suffering from, well, not suffering from, but I'm in threat of having high blood pressure and cholesterol issues, and I'm like, I thought that was some people with other kind of issues, like weight, because every, I thought, you know, people that need the weight loss experience that, but how in the hell do a skinny dude like me get confronted with that kind of stuff and what I've learned is that I've mistreated the most important part of my life is my body so I've been eating stuff that put me in jeopardy and so initially I was in I was resisting this like come on man I've been eating this stuff all my life if I ain't have uh early on if I ain't have oodles and noodles when we was poor. If I ain't have oodles and noodles in in jail, I would have died. But then I so then I learned that that stuff is is what helped put me in the health conditions that I'm facing now. Right? Mark said, "Good morning and happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, brother." So change a new year that we get to walk in together. Some of us ain't gonna make it though. Some of us. I'm hoping that we make it, but in reality is some of us ain't even going to make it in 2019, and we're going to wish, but I'm wishing that all of us can walk in there together so that we can conquer 2019 together because we are up against a whole lot of stuff that can make our life worse. There's a government shutdown right now in the U.S., people supposed to get paid tomorrow and get paid this check that was already in but if the government doesn't open up how many people is that going to impact how many people that need hey Monique that need the support of the government to, to meet their basic nutritional needs would not have access to it and those of us that are more comfortable those of us that have saved and we ain't really worried about that because we got a nest egg but all of us are a part of each other and so in 2019 it's part of my change is to become even more uh, knowledgeable and engaging in politics making sure I do a better investigation of the people that's running to represent me because some of these people get in office and their whole goal is to destroy me and they control everything the air what goes into the air how much pollution goes into the air if people are allowed to put chemicals into food and so that all of that is a part of change and that all of that is a part of the longevity of our lives and so when when i think of change i think i have to also include what's going to keep me breathing what's going to keep me healthy and so change for me covers everything and politics what's going on in my community engaging people all of that is a part of change and i know we fear uh getting involved in stuff we know in some communities we fear approaching the people out there that's committing the crimes to make our communities unsafe we fear engaging them because we think of the possible repercussions of being beat up being murdered but the one thing that i know with anything any disease any crime if you don't if you don't address the people or if you don't go to the issue soon it spreads and eventually it falls right in your door and we live to make to keep ourselves safe and not engage even though we want change, we'll put bars on our window. We'll put alarms on our car, alarms on our houses to protect us. But that doesn't change what's going on outside of our door. That limits 
us in the pursuit of our goals and our dreams. So I'm not going to talk to you to death, but I just wanted to talk about, well, I didn't know I wanted to talk about change because all of us deserve whatever it is that we want. But in order for us to get it, we're going to have to change something, even if that is beginning with our thoughts on what it is that we want to go out there and get. So until next time, I'm Lamont Curry. Always comment and share. And you can always reach me on social media, everything at Lamont Curry, and you'll find me. DC hometown. What's happening? So until next time, ladies and gentlemen, I really appreciate you spending your morning with me. So we both uh, experience and change because we haven't spent really no mornings together ever. So we roll over and smelling each other funky breath. Thank you. See you next time. I'm Lamont Carey. Bye.